And welcome back to Monday's Who Would Win. Just a normal week of Who Would Win. Uh, normal week today. Uh, starting this week. Whatever. For, uh, not the first week of us. Well, first week of February, but not till tomorrow. Uh, pre-recorded on Sunday. So Monday for Sunday. Talking about Tuesday. Uh, this one comes to us from Noraflex and Dragon Kid of Atlantis. What uh, Punisher versus Batman? Who would win? Now this, as you can kind of see here, I didn't make a thumbnail because this technically happened in the comics. Uh, when, when they did one of the crossovers. Um, now, if I remember correctly, it didn't ultimately end with an actual victor. It was one of those things that because they were both writers, uh, or both writing, um, uh, they were, um, or Marvel and D Marvel and DC were both, you know, writing the story or, you know, having a joint effort crossovering. No one character could really get the one over on the other. There, but it does end in the great little moment, I think it ends with a great moment of the Joker realizing, oh yeah, no, the Punisher's not Batman. The Punisher is going to kill him, and Joker actually freaks the hell out. He's like, take me to jail, take me to jail, he's a crazy man! Um, but yeah, because, I mean, so they dished it out for a little bit. But who would actually win in a fight? Well, Frank has got expert military training, he is a walking armory, he is he's a brick shit house in terms of, you know, physicality, and he's not afraid to, you know, go that distance, he's not afraid to kill at all, uh, he's a scarred man, uh, he wears, I believe he wears, like, a like, body armor, things along those lines, so he is, he's definitely a, uh, he's definitely a dangerous foe, uh, to go up against for anyone who doesn't have superpowers, and even if you have superpowers, but, um, Batman, Batman is just kind of a different guy. Like, uh, Batman's just kind of a different beast unto himself. Because Batman is also in peak human condition, physical condition, just wears better armor because he's got the money for it. So he's got wears like I believe like a Kevlar titanium weave or something like that. Can deflect small arms fire, even uh, as uh, <laughs> um, Margaret Freeman put, "This sucker, sucker will stop a knife." Um, but um, yeah, so he's already got better just armor. He's got. Far more in his arsenal, including batarangs of multiple kinds. Standard, shock, explosive, uh, you know, gas pellets, anesthetic gas pellets, uh, his grappling hook, electro, uh, you know, electro, um, electro gloves, we'll call them, <laughs> shock gloves. Um, his cape is also very handy in a fight as well, surprisingly. He is a master of all martial arts forms, or like 127 or something like that. Like, he's mastered 127 different martial arts. Uh, master of pressure points, uh, you know, judo, ninjutsu, um, but there's, and if you talk about, like, the amount of stuff these guys have both had to go through, Batman probably wins on that regard in terms of, like, sheer just will and grit, because he's had to deal with a lot, he's had to deal with a lot more, I think, than Punisher has. Now, Punisher, don't get me wrong, has died and brought back as Frank and, uh, Frank and Castle, <laughs> Uh, and, you know, he's lost his family, very sad, first lost his family as a boy, traveled the world, fights crime and psychopaths on a daily basis, but resists the urge to kill because he, he still believes in the justice system, ultimately, he's been buried six feet under after days of no sleep with one of the Joker's latest fear toxins in there in a straight jacket and freaking kill build his way out of there. He's died of several times, including being killed by Darkseid, sent through the Omega Sanction to be a living time bomb of destruction, died multiple times in worse and worse ways, and came back from that, shot Darkseid, beaten Superman on several occasions, gone toe to toe, even like punked out the Spectre. Batman's roster of like just feats well and truly supersedes anything Punisher's done. That said, that doesn't really matter when you break it down in the long, in the great scheme of things, because they, it's not about that. It's about them duking it out with each other. So who wins? Well, it's clear that if Punisher's in town, Batman goes after Punisher and basically tells him to stop, stop this right now in my town, or we're gonna have problems. Punisher doesn't agree, and now they duke it out. Punisher, Punisher is like a walking armory, so he would basically just you know keep Batman at a distance for a while. But Batman is more than skilled enough to take on someone who's got, you know, hand and training, m a multiple firearms. And, you know, he's a master strategist, too, so he just is timing it, waiting for him to run out of bullets, and as soon as he does that, he just batterings them, basically gets the guns out of his hands, and then they go toe-to-toe, hand-to-hand, which Frank can certainly keep up with. He's not like a slouch or anything like that. He could definitely keep up with Batman to a certain degree. But Batman is just a more skilled fighter in the grand scheme of things. You'd probably pressure point him, point him, knock one of his arms down for a little while, 
uh, uh, in, um, it, oh, like was it in Dark Knight uh, Returns? It's like a uh, uh, cluster that was a cluster of nerves in your deltoid. Didn't maybe it didn't hurt, but you won't be moving that arm for a while. And yeah, um, it's uh, you don't get it. You don't get it, Castle. This isn't uh, this isn't a, a building. <laughs> it's an operating tail. <laughs> ah, and I'm the surgeon. <laughs> Still badass. Oh, good, good. Uh, it's a great uh, graphic novel. Good movie, honestly, too. Uh, but yeah, I just Frank. I think is just outclassed. There's even a version of Batman that is essentially the Punisher version of the Batman from like the uh, the alternate Dark Knight multiverse thing. Uh, who got beat by? Who actually got beat by Gordon because he was he was actually too predictable because of his methods and actions. I believe like he he was actually the kind of individual that Gordon could easily take down. And, yeah, it was, it's one of those things where Batman, because he doesn't kill or anything like that, he's able to protect his anonymity a bit better, because if he killed, he'd be leaving more evidence of that. Although, it'd be Batman, if he decided to kill, he could probably make it so he wouldn't be able to fight him that easy, but, at least the Batman we know, the main Bruce Wayne we see. But, I think, because of Frank's lack of morality, I suppose you can say, or, you know, his lack of hesitation on the whole no kill rule i think that is also what gets batman edge because there's lines he's willing to cross that batman's not that means batman's learned had to learn more how to hold back and restrain and to um uh beat someone in more clever ways without having to kill them so i do give the i think batman also has that on his uh, in his belt too so, ultimately, I go Batman in this fight. I know not everyone would agree with that, obviously. So, do you think Punisher could beat Batman? Let me know. I think there's, don't get me wrong, there's a scenario where he could win. Certainly there is. There's probably several. But I think the majority of those scenarios still go to the bat. But that is just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know if you have at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. I will see you for the next one.